yourself? My name is Edward La. I'm working at SK Telecom. I'm head of AI robotics business development team. Okay, great. Is this right here? Yes. What does it do? We call it um, depalletizing AI robot. It is basically vision AI based pick and Area, there are 3D vision camera over, combined by the robotic arms. So basically, using the 3D vision camera, it takes a picture of image of the boxes so that it can detect and uh, measure size of the boxes. So basically, our AI located in the cloud and give an order to the robotic arms. So okay this time you have to pick these boxes over there like human's brain it can make a the human workers can uh, cope with deal with 400 boxes per hour but our our robotic arms can deal uh, that's a lot of boxes yes is it uh, possible to make a system where you don't need any people anymore? Yeah, people anymore. For example, uh, one of my our customer is a big e-commerce company. It runs so many conveyor belt system. Each and every conveyor uh, belt system requires eight workers or at, or at once. After introducing this kind of robotic arms. Uh, Warehouse owner can reduce to uh, conveyor belt, so it can increase some productivity. Nice, that's awesome. Um, is that your other robot over there? Yes. Oh, uh, we we call it is uh, the museum or somewhere. You need some explanation from the host. Yeah. And this robot. Make some explanation for customers. Cases when you go to the big shopping mall, you can go to some you know Gucci or uh, or the Prada shop. Then this computer will uh, robot will display Gucci and Prada commercial advertisement. Is it real? Yes, real. Is uh, in Korea? In Korea, yes, real. We already commercialized this. How robot. many? Just, no, 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 it's fine. How about this uh, helicopter here? Oh. I'll fix a little tiny bit. That's uh, and I'm this one. AI robot. You, you, I strongly believe that you're, you guys are very familiar with this kind of robotic arms. It, you know, instead of human being, it, it can make some copy and you know, serve the, the customers. So what is different from common you know, AI uh, Five-star robot is we monitor these robotic arms and first equipment. This machine can make some monitoring remotely use a mobile phone. For example, for example, if you run out of the coffee bean, you can find out on, on real-time basis so that you can fill it up again. Yeah, nice. that's the point. Uh, so this is real coffee? Yeah. But how many you have in the world of this? It's also, you know... Only one, one prototype? Yes, one, only, only one. one prototype, yes. Okay. How about this one? Does it fly? Actually, I'm not, I'm not responsible for this. This Korea UAM. And um, it's like a flying taxi. So... Is it Korean Air? No, 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 no. no, no. I cannot actually use it. In As far as far my my memory is correct, if my memory is correct, from the year 2025, Korean government gave us some license to launch. So from the next year, we're gonna we're gonna enter into a you know real side experiment. Nice, cool. Yeah, sorry. I forgot that. Yeah, yeah, but because. Hopefully it's safe. Yeah, that's the biggest problem actually. There are two 
to solve in advance. One is safety problems, and second one is business model. Personally, I'm a little bit about some you know, business model. It is very hard to you know, make money using those you know, expensive vehicles. But I believe in, 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 in the future, I think this kind of, you know, will be popular in all of the world. But we have to solve some, some you know, issues right. in advance. What other things you show here? You have robots here? Yeah. Uh, this we yeah. use some AI software running the robotic arms and running the, you know, um, yeah. those robot. Is this you? Yeah, all, company? all the things, yeah. What's happening over With the terms of the metabus? Yeah. You have it? Yes, over there. It's work? Yes. Go, go, How about go and this, check it. Um, this thing, is that a self driving car? Yes. We, get, we call it Team and Mobility. Is it a Hyundai? No. Car makers don't. Yeah. No, car makers don't, don't, doesn't have any, any. You can sit down, watch movies in 4K, yeah. and get to your destination. Basically, it provides some, you know, map. Basically, map based. As I mentioned earlier, it's only for you know concept car, not the real one. But in the near future, we think that we might use this kind of map and vehicle like this. There is no drivers, but it, it also you know, safety and comfortable, as you can see in the video. Yes. Right. Thanks a lot for showing. Yeah. And over there, you have a. Like a video game seat, flight simulator. So, you know, the flight simulator is, is kind of like a, you know virtual yeah. monitoring center. So for, it's, uh, for this this one. All right. That was the SK tail up from. Uh, my yellow box is showing drop frames. Uh, can, can people uh, on the chat use mobile technology and get them a welcome?